Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a kind of different video for you. So this is a mix mosh of new to me vendors that I have been trying, that I've been wanting to review for a little while now. Um, I wanted to melt enough to make a decently long video so you guys can really get my thoughts on each of these vendors. Um, Cause obviously I don't wanna just throw everything into like an empties video because none of these are close to being empty yet um, and then just get like one opinion on one cent and then you guys take that as the okay I want to order or no I don't want to order um, because there's so many different scents here and I got a different throw from every single one um, some vendors I have more stuff to show you than others just because some vendors I gravitate towards more so I want to melt more of their stuff or uh, like Dessa's, for example, I went crazy melting this week because I really wanted to test out some of her stuff and different warmers. So I have a whole bunch of different ones here. Um, this video is basically going to be focusing on like Empire Alchemy, Wolf Wicks, Dessa's, Sweet Sage Scents, um, Satin Suzy Scents, Sweet Fixations, uh, Yummer's Delight, Salt Mountain Melt, Simo, um, uh, Handworks, L3, Wax Workshop. So there's a whole bunch of different vendors here so let me stop talking and get started because it's probably going to be a long video all right Dessa's I melted mostly these blender bits so these are the blender bits the first one that I tried is marshmallow noel now the reason I grabbed this one was because I started off with churro cart and I wanted to try this one first because when on cold it's pretty spicy I didn't think I was going to like it but somebody said that they think that it does change while it's warm and it's not as spicy so i gave it a try i put two of these little cubes in my 25 watt light bulb warmer it was still spicy <laughs> like that's just me i don't like really spicy scents and this is spicy now is it so overpoweringly spicy that i couldn't handle it no um this is not like a red hot cinnamon spicy but it's not far from it it's like obviously mixed with other things, it being churros. So so I put some of the Marshmallow Noel in to calm it down, but it didn't really do much because I feel like whenever you add wax to wax that's already melting and already throwing, it doesn't do very much for you, um, at least in my opinion. But Marshmallow Noel by itself is really good because I did try it by itself because I'm like, wait, am I just not getting a throw from the Marshmallow Noel or is it just not doing anything in this instance? So I did melt it by itself. It smells amazing on its own, I love it. It's like one of the very few blenders that I would melt on its own. Uh, so that's a really good. They both threw well, but the churro cart is just spicy. Like I don't know what else to say about it. It's just spicy. <laughs> and then I decided to try Bake Sale and Bake Sale is, oh, I have this in the description. Um, apple crumble, oatmeal cookies, cinnamon rolls, and buttery sugar cookies. So when I have this both on cold and on warm, the first thing I get is the apple crumble. It's like such a gorgeous bakery apple scent. I like it a lot. There is a bit of spice to it, but it's not spicy really at all. I mostly just get the apple crumble and like the cinnamon roll, maybe a little bit. Um, this was really nice. It's a little bit of a lighter scent. I wish it would have been a little bit better of a thrower. For me, it was probably maybe like a 6 out of 10. Uh, the churro was definitely a 9 out of 10. That one was pretty strong. And then the marshmallow Noel, I would say like an 8 out of 10. Alright, then I decided to try some sugared butter shortbread. And I mixed that with zucchini bread. So I did one zucchini bread with two sugar butter. And what I should have done was just one of each because I thought the sugar butter really wasn't going to be that strong, but it was. And it overpowered the zucchini bread a little bit, so I wish I just did one of each instead of one and two. However, these are both very, very nice. They are both 10 out of 10 for throw. Super strong. I'm noticing that Dessa's does the best in my 25 watt light bulb, so that's what I'm going to be sticking to. And then the sugared butter shortbread is definitely like a sugar cookie scent. I really like it a lot. Um, I was trying to recreate a little bit of a fake and bake from Super Tarts, even though neither one of these really smell exactly like her zucchini bread and sugar cookie scent, but I like it a lot. It was good for what it was, and I would definitely repurchase both of these. Okay, now I'm going to show you Sweet Fixations. I only did two so far, and I did drag out my 18-watt hot plate from Yankee 
to melt these in. So I did half a cent shot in zucchini berry pancakes and it was really good. Uh, it was really strong. It lasted a while. Um, what I will say is you definitely only need half a cent shot because I feel like if I use the full one, it probably wouldn't have made it any stronger, but um, you can get two melts out of it. So why melt the whole one when you can get two and it's going to be the same throw. So I really like the zucchini berry pancakes. That went through really well. Um, also with Dessa's, what I wanted to mention was I don't think her wax lasts very long. I don't know if it's just because the warmer that I use, that I have to use for her wax, is pretty hot. So I think it sucks the scent out faster. Uh, that probably has something to do with it. But for me, I'm never worried about wax not lasting more than a few hours because I'm so quick to change my stuff out anyways. Um, and I've been trying really hard to get through a decent amount of my stash, especially since I'm not really buying right now. Um, I really want to enjoy what I have and whatever's coming. I only have a few things coming um, from a few vendors that I had coupon codes for that I wanted to use before they expired because I didn't know if they expired or not. So, um, But that's a different video that I'll talk to you about that. Okay, then I also tried Strawberry Zucchini from Sweet Fixations, and this one was really nice too, really, really strong. I don't know how long it lasted because I ended up putting this in. Um, the warmer before I went to bed and by the time I got up it was no scent left um, But I love her strawberry scent whose zucchini bread is amazing. It's always been amazing. So I'm really happy with those two thus far Okay, then I'm going to show you some stuff from woof clicks that I've started melting So I threw in some sticky paws the other day. I used two cubes because It's not that strong of a scent. So I figured it would need to and Woof Wicks, I like to melt in my 24 watt hot plate or in my 25 watt light bulb. It does pretty much the same in both. Um, this one was really not that strong. I couldn't smell a whole lot out of it. I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10. It smells really nice on cold, and you can smell it while it's warming. It's just not strong. So I suggest um, maybe putting a cube or two in each one of your warmers around the house, and then you'd probably get a better throw than I did. But it's okay, it would be a good blender. Okay, then I tried red velvet cake, tobacco caramel, vanilla bean noel, sugar cookie, and pie crust. I melted half of a bone here, and I feel like I should have used the whole one because the throw was okay, but I think it could have been better if I used the whole thing. Yeah, I really love this scent. The caramel tobacco is definitely the strongest, and then you get the pie crust and vanilla bean noel. I don't get much red velvet cake. But everything else in here is such a good scent. So next time, I'll probably use the whole paw, or if I buy some more, I'll use the whole bone. Um, because I feel like if I used the whole thing, it definitely would have been stronger. Um, I'd probably get this like a 6 or 7 out of 10. But I will remelt and see how it goes, just to see if it's stronger or if it's not. Okay, then I tried hot cocoa and spiced vanilla. I started off with half a bone and it was actually really good. I don't think I needed any more than that. And it's a, such a nice like creamy hot cocoa scent and then a smokiness from like the spiced vanilla. I love this. It kind of reminds me of one of her tobacco scents. It kind of smells like tobacco to me. I don't know why, but it does. And then I ended up using the other half a few days later and I still loved it. So good. 10 out of 10 for throw. I would definitely repurchase that one. Okay, then this one I'm melting now, which is carnival bread. Um, I think it's like a funnel cake, apple, or maybe it's like apple and zucchini bread or fresh baked bread or something. I don't know. I think it's zucchini bread, though. And I just threw in the whole bone. I'm actually melting this right now. It's decently strong. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. I really like the blend. The blend itself is really nice. Yeah, it's definitely apple, and I want to say it's zucchini bread but it's amazing. I bought two of these, so I do have some backups. I wanted to try the whole bone because I wanted to see if it was going to throw better or if it was going to be, you know, about the same. So right now it's throwing really well. I'm going to try half a bone since I have some more later on in the week and see if it makes any difference or if it's the same. But right now I'm really liking it and I would get more of that one. Okay, then I did some stuff from Empire Alchemy. The first scent that I tried is Nom Nom, which is angel food cake, vanilla crumb donut, sugar cookies, and soft pretzels. Now, I think this scent is just a light scent, considering what all is in here, because I didn't really smell much of anything. I'd probably give this a 2 out of 10. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because it's a light scent, so it's going to be a light throw. I don't really know. 
Um, if anything, I thought I'd at least get a decent throw from like the soft pretzels because soft pretzels is like a fresh bread scent and that's always a really strong thrower for me. But you can't really smell much of that in here. I get the soft pretzels and I get like a cake scent, but that's about it. Um, if anything, I'd probably use the rest of this as a blender next time. I tried it in my 25 watt um, because I've tried other things like I'm going to show you right now in the 25 watt and it worked really well. So I tried the Camp Anawana or Anawana, however you want to say it, toasted pine cones, tonka beans, cedar wood, and marshmallow woods. I love this scent and I use a little Christmas tree that was probably half an ounce in the 25 light bulb and it was so good. It lasted forever. This is such an amazing, an amazing scent. I used it when I was going to bed and it was so good. Now I know a lot of people are like, why are you melting pine? But whatever, I like it. And I actually, it was funny because it lasted forever. And after I dumped it out, I put in something with zucchini bread and the pine scent, like the this scent was still kind of lingering. And when I put the zucchini bread in, you can smell both of them. And that was actually a really good blend. So now I kind of want to take one of these and melt it with some zucchini bread and see how it goes. But that was definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely would repurchase. I loved it. Okay. I did some stuff from Handworks. And I did some of her copycats just to see how they did. So this is Leaves, which is a Bath & Body Works dupe. And I also did this in the 25 watt light bulb and I just used one that is all you need. I probably could have gotten away with half of one because this was so strong. Like this is really strong on cold. Just as strong as it is on cold is how it is on warm and it's an exact dupe from Bath & Body Works. It throws even better than the one from Bath & Body Works. I love it. It's an amazing fall scent and I would definitely get some more of that. And it lasted a really long time too. All right, then I tried her Campfire Marshmallow, which is another Bath & Body Works dupe. And 25 watt, I used one, amazing, through and through and through and through for hours. It would not stop. <laughs> I love this, again, dead on dupe, 10 out of 10. I would definitely repurchase that one. Um, and I do recommend Henworks so far from what I have tried. Okay, then I have some stuff from Sweet Sage Scents. Now, I was having trouble getting a throw from any of her stuff. Um, I tried a 20 watt Glade warmer, which in hindsight, now that I've tried other ones, did work the best. I don't know if it was the scent or if it was the warmer, um, but I tried it while I was at my mother's house. I gave her some to try and it was pretty decent. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. Um, it was the blackberry bread, if I can find that one. So this is blackberry whole wheat bread. This is what we tried and I liked it a lot. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but for what it is, it was okay. And then I tried um, brown sugar zucchini bread and I tried this one here in a 24 watt Ashland warmer. I really didn't get much of a throw, maybe a four out of 10. You could smell it a little bit lingering, but that was about it. And also I wanted to ask a question about this. Um, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing or if it doesn't really matter because I think I've noticed it from Kay's um, stuff too. When you melt it and then I hot dump all the time. So when I go to hot dump it, it's like the wax comes out clear and then the coloring is still in the warmer that you need to wipe out. It like it separates while it's melting. Is that normal? Because I'd have never seen that from another vendor, but I've only noticed it with Sweet Sage scents and a couple of them from K's. It's not all from K's, but every single one from Sweet Sage has done that, which I think is so strange because I've never seen that before. But yeah, that one was all right. Again, four out of 10 maybe wasn't super strong. And then I tried buttery brown sugar macaroon, Danish butter cookie, brown sugar, and creamy coconut. I tried this in an 18 watt Yankee just to see if it does a little bit better. Um, and it did. I think the 18 watt is probably the winner right now. I mean, the 20 watt was fine. They're both about the same, really, at the end of the day. They're about the same. Um, this one was all right. Again, maybe I'd give it like a six out of 10. You can mostly just smell the coconut while it's cold and on warm. And it's more of like a perfumey coconut, so I'll just keep that in mind. Um, but if I'm in the mood for a lighter scent, I know where to go to. Um, but other than that, I haven't been super impressed with Sweet Sage, but it kind of stinks because her stuff smells amazing on cold. Okay, 
Then I did some stuff from Simo. I actually have another order coming today. It's going to be my third order. I have been so happy with everything that I've gotten so far. So I tried Caribbean coconut. I put one heart in a 24 watt warmer and I loved it. Um, her coconut is kind of in the middle between like a perfumey one and like a creamy bakery one. I really like it a lot. I would definitely get more of it. I think this would be really good as a blender too. And that would get like an 8 out of 10 for a throw. I did Downtown Bakery, which is a zucchini bread sugar cookie blend, I believe. Love this one. I have another pack of it that I just bought because I fell in love with it. And this was a 10 out of 10. I put it in a 24 watt hot plate. Oh, I love this scent. And it lasts a really long time too, I must say. So that one was amazing as well. And then I tried this one, which is Zucchini Supreme in a 25 watt light bulb. Um, I always have the 24 watt Ashland warmers. I have two of them that are always going and the 25 watt light bulb was always going. So those are mainly the ones that I use unless I feel like I need to try something different. Then I have the 18 watt Yankee that's also out and the rest of my warmers are all in storage that I need to get out. <laughs> um, but I loved this one. This one worked really well on the 25 watt too. It's such a really like bakery, a little bit of cinnamony zucchini bread scent. I still want to say this is mixed with bear claws, but I don't really know for sure because I still haven't looked it up, but I love it. It's so good. I, I tried some things from L3. So like I said, these are new to me vendors. I know L3 Death says Sweet Fixations isn't like a new vendor to a lot of people. Um, Sweet Fixations isn't new to me, like I said in the video, but I just wanted to see how it did now. And a lot of people are asking me questions on it. So there you go. All right, so L3, I tried Pink Sugar Pretzel Jet Puff Mallow. I really liked this one. Uh, her stuff works pretty well in the 24 watt and the 25 watt, so I can't really complain either one. I mean, obviously some scents are stronger than others, but this one was pretty good. I mainly just smell pink sugar though. It was like a creamy pink sugar scent. And that one didn't really last all that long, maybe a couple of hours. Um, but other than that, it was fine. I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10. I tried cinnamon sugar cream cheese frosting pretzel in the 25 watt and I tried this a few days ago and I really really like it. It's definitely different while it's melting than when it is on cold because on cold you kind of just get a little bit of a cinnamon scent and that's about it but when you warm it you definitely get the pretzel and the cinnamon sugar and a little bit of the cream cheese frosting and I like it a lot. I would definitely repurchase it so this is why I always say don't judge wax while it's cold because it's going there's a very big chance that it's going to change while it's warm so i try really hard not to knock wax until i melt it and then get you know my final opinion um but that's definitely something that i've learned especially with this next one too which is mallow fireside coffee bean french vanilla so i wanted to try this this morning i put it in the 25 watt it's still going right now so strong you guys on cold, I got a little bit of a coffee scent and a little bit of the marshmallow fireside. But while it's warming, it is so strong. The coffee scent is so sweet and so powerful. You get an underlying of the marshmallow fireside. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. I wish I had gotten more of this. Half is definitely all you need. You don't need any more than that. I love it. 10 out of 10. And I don't want it to stop throwing because I don't want to get rid of it. All right, and then this one I actually tried a while ago, Coconut Waffle Cone Wild Berry Mousse. So I cut it in half, and then I cut the half in half, and I put one half on one side, one half on the other, and the 24 watt Ashland Warmers. So good. I love her Wild Berry Mousse scent. That's mainly what I get is just Wild Berry Mousse. But I do get a little bit of the coconut too. Oh my God, this is such a good scent. 10 out of 10 for throw. I love it. I need so much more of this. It was so good. Okay, then I just have some randoms that I tried. So from Wax Workshop, I really want to love her wax. <laughs> um, I tried blueberry sweet sponge sugar filled with magical berries, a creamy vanilla center, cotton candy, and a fruity base of cotton cotton candy filled berries. So this is basically just blueberry, um, but to me, it smells like Frankenberry because it smells like strawberries. It's different. It smells like blueberry and Frankenberry like mixed together, but I like it. It's really good. 
and I used two pieces the size of this. So this is basically what I melted and it was so strong. It like really surprised me. I did not think it was gonna be as strong as it was. I'd given it an 11 out of 10. It was so crazy strong and that's me saying this who never thinks anything is strong enough. But um, yeah, this was so amazing. I definitely wanna get some more of that one. Um, I did get another goodie bag in from Wax Workshop and I pretty much immediately de-stashed it. I didn't post a picture. I didn't do a haul video because there is not one thing in there that I liked. Um, but that's just what it is when you buy a mystery pack. You don't know if you're going to like it or not. So I did end up de-stashing quite a bit of it. I still have some left, but they're just really not popular scents. So it's kind of hard to get rid of or trade. Um, so I kind of have the rest of it put to the side right now. I did place another order with Wax Workshop for two mini loaves and a few bundt cakes in scents that sounded good. Uh, so we will see because I really love the throw of their wax. I just wish they had more scents that appealed to me really at the end of the day. Okay, I tried some more Satin Susie and this is in Wildberry Zucchini Bread. I used half in my 24 watt. Love it. 10 out of 10 for throw, super, super strong. I love her Wildberry Mousse scent and her Zucchini Bread is amazing. I really wanna place another order with Satin Susie. I need more of her stuff. Um, I tried the Celtic Coffee, I reviewed that last time. Threw me out of the room, so, so good, I want more. So Satin Susie so far, I've been very happy with. All right, then I tried some Blue Sugar Vanilla Sandalwood from Hayden Row. This one was really good too. It was really strong. Um, I know a lot of people have been raving about her stuff lately. I really haven't been reaching for a lot of her stuff. I don't know why. I just haven't. Um, it's because I have so many vendors to go through to try and everything. But this one was amazing. 24 watt hot plate through forever. 10 out of 10 percent throw. I really want some more of that one. Okay. Um, two more things left. Then I tried Yummer's Delight Coffee Date. I got this from Amanda. And this was in half a scent shot, and it was okay. The scent itself, ugh, need to reposition. The scent itself was fine. Um, it was, it was a coffee scent, but it was like, kind of like a fake coffee scent, if that makes sense. You smell a little bit of coffee and then kind of like a sugar note, which was kind of strange. I'd probably give the scent throw like a five or a six, but I wasn't crazy about the scent. So if I ever do order from Yummer's Delay, I probably would not buy that one. Okay, then I tried Salt Mountain Melts in Zucchini Bread. And I tried one of these bears, so it was the same size as that one. And the scent itself is really nice. It's like a little bit of like a dry zucchini bread. It doesn't smell like the warm baked, um, like you don't get like the warmness to it. Like I th I feel like you guys are, are gonna know that I'm talking about. Those of you that have been around for a while that know your zucchini bread scents, I feel like you know what I'm trying to say. But it's definitely like a dry zucchini bread. I don't know how else to say it besides dry. Um, so it's that kind of zucchini bread. It's not horrible, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Um, and I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10% throw. It was decent. Um, I just wish that she used a different zucchini bread oil. Really, I'm just, that's just my preference. Um, it didn't last very long. It only lasted about two or three hours. I don't know if maybe I should try a lighter wattage warmer to try her stuff in, but I think I will try that next time. So that's everything. I just really wanted to make this video because I never do videos like this where I'm talking about all new vendors to me and whenever I do review videos it's all empties so I wanted to give it a try let me know if you like these types of videos and I will keep making them um, I am slowly but surely getting a decent amount of empties so I will be making some more review videos soon um, as far as this channel goes I like I said I still have some orders in that are coming I'm getting one SEMO today my pills and potions shipped and I have a tracking number from Rainbow Melts, but it hasn't left pre-shipment yet. I think it's been there for like two days or something now, so that should probably ship soon. Um, and then I have Sniff My Tarts and Wax Workshop. So that's the only things that I'm waiting on right now, which is really good for me, considering I normally have like 10 that I'm waiting on, and that's not even an exaggeration. Um, so I'm trying really hard to do at least low buys if not a no buy because I can't tell myself I'm not going to buy wax this is my only hobby so what else am I going to spend my money on <laughs> you know um and then for the time being while I'm not buying and I'm not doing haul videos I will be doing lots of review videos melting baskets 
Um, loaf chopping, something I really need to get done. I have a ton of things that need to be chopped. Um, storage videos, I'm going to do an updated one of those once everything comes in. And I think that's about it. If you guys have any other requests for videos, please let me know. I got a request for a, a warmer collection, which I do want to do once I get all that stuff out of storage and figure out where I'm going to put it. I want to do a candle collection, same thing. When that I find somewhere to put all that stuff, I want to do one of those. Um, and that's really about it. So let me know what you guys want to see. If you've made it this far, thank you. <laughs> you are a trooper. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.